in the exam, sometimes they give you a few circuit and then they want you to compare uh, the effective resistance in different circuit. Okay, they will ask you which one has higher resistance, which one has lower resistance. Uh, that's very important uh, for in analyzing circuit. After this, uh, okay, we are going to proceed to some advanced circuits. Uh, okay, sometimes they will ask you uh, when we add the resistor here, will the current increase, the current will decrease or not? Uh, all these are related to the resistance in the circuit. Therefore, you need to know, uh, okay, in what kinds of connections of the resistor, okay, the resistance is higher, and in what kinds of the connections of the resistor in uh, the the resistance will be lower. Okay, mm, that's important. Now let's start with a simple one first. Uh, okay. Let's see, this one, and this one. Eh? Now, if we have one resistor, 3 ohm, okay, of course, then the resistance will be 3 ohm, right? And if the same uh, resistor, if we have three, this resistor, okay, and then we connect it in uh, series, okay, in series, eh? then the effective resistance become 9 ohm, 9 ohm, which means, eh? which means, uh, in series circuit, the more resistor, the higher the resistance. One resistor, two ohm, two resistor, six ohm, three resistor, nine ohms. This is about the identical resistor. The resistance is the same for each resistor, three ohm. Okay. So for series circuit, the more resistor, the higher the resistance. Okay. Then let's see this one. Same. Still three ohm, eh? three ohm eh? resistor. Okay. But we connect it in parallel parallel okay we have learned that if we connect the 3 ohm resistor parallel then the effective resistance will be 3 divided by 2 right the resistance of the uh, one of the resistor divided by the number of resistor uh, two resistor then we divide by 2 okay so then the effective resistance is 1.5 ohm uh, 3 divided by 2 1.5 ohm if we have three resistor uh, then 3 ohm divided by 3 then it's 1 ohm so from here, we can see that if one resistor, 3 ohm, two resistor, 1.5 ohm, three resistor, just one ohm, which means the more resistor in the parallel circuit, the lower the resistance. For series circuit, more resistor, higher resistance. But for parallel circuit, more resistors, lower resistance. So that's what you need to know, eh? okay? For series and parallel circuit, they are not the same. They are not the same. Eh? But sometime, okay, sometime uh, they may give you something like this. Three resistor, but uh, two resistor here and one resistor here, okay? Uh, if you do the calculations, then you will find that this one, the resistance is two ohm. Okay, two ohm, eh? uh, which is higher than this one. If you connect three resistor parallel, you get one ohm. If you arrange it this way, two resistor in series and then parallel to the other one, eh, the effective resistance is just a uh, two ohm. Okay, so this one, eh, this is six ohm, eh, this is three ohm, because this section eh, is a series uh, circuit. So, so the resistance is uh, for this section, eh, the resistance of this section will be six ohm. So when 6 ohm parallel to 3 ohm, the resistance is uh, 2 ohm. Compared to this 1 ohm, this is higher. This one, sometimes you need to do some calculations uh, to get the answers so that you can compare with the others. Uh, okay, But for this 3, you can compare it easily. You, you should know directly which one has a higher resistance, which one has lower resistance. Uh, this is a past year question, actually. It's a clone past year question. Uh. Okay, so we have 3 circuit. Uh, P, Q, R, okay, this one, one resistor, okay, one resistor, two resistor, and three resistor. Uh, so they want you to list down or arrange, uh, or arrange or list down the circuit in the image above according to their resistance in descending order. Descending order means it's from a, the highest, the one with highest resistance, uh, uh, to the one with a uh, lowest resistance, highest to lowest. Okay, for this three circuit, eh, which one has highest resistance? P, yeah? 
and uh, which one has lowest resistance? Lowest, uh, lowest. Q, okay, should be Q, uh, okay. And then so R is in between, okay. So that is ascending order, okay. But if you write the answer, then you should write PRQ, uh, P R Q, uh, okay. Now, if you are not sure, uh, fine, okay, then uh, you can do some calculations. Uh, you can do some calculations. Let's say we assume that, okay, we assume that uh, each bar, uh, the resistance is 3 ohm. Okay, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm. So, for the first one, P, uh, for P, the effective res what's the effective resistance for P? It's 3 ohm, right? P, uh, is 3 ohm. Okay, uh, how about Q? Q, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, divided by 2, right? 3 divided by 2. Okay, two resistor on here, two resistor, parallel, right? So it's 1.5, eh? 1.5, okay. R, okay, R maybe you need to do some calculations, right? We use uh, R equal to uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 reciprocal. Eh? Uh, that is because this section is 6 ohm. This section is 6 ohm, eh? this part. Okay, this one 6 ohm. Eh? 6 ohm. 6 ohm parallels with this uh, 3 ohm. So it's 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. Eh? And the effective resistance is 2 ohm. 2 ohm. Eh? So 2 ohm. So uh, descending order from the higher. The highest is P and the lowest is Q. So uh, this is important. Eh? Okay. Yeah? This is important because sometimes in an exam they, they may ask you to compare. Yeah, which circuit has higher effective resistance, which circuit has lower effective resistance.